Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be talking about five crucial security settings you wanna change and update on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone right away. These tactics are gonna make sure your phone is as secure as possible from many angles. So let's start with number one, and here's what you wanna do. You wanna go to your settings, and then what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down a little bit, actually all the way down, go to battery and device care, you want to click on it. Now, first thing you want to make sure is device protection is actually enabled. If it's disabled, it's going to say right here, just click on and it's going to activate that. But that's not the big thing. The big thing is once it is enabled, you want to go back out to the main screen, click on this button, click on about device care, and you want to update the security engine. You click this guy, you get the latest security engine for the device protection option. I do wanna let you know, if you do not have this enabled, you're not gonna see security update engine over here. So make sure that's enabled and updated. Let's move on to number two, but before that, a quick message from our sponsor. Guys, here's one of my favorite apps, Blinkist, who is also the sponsor of this video. We live in busy times and it's hard to find some time to sit down and read books. It's almost impossible to satisfy our quest for knowledge. So what if there was an app that could let you digest an entire book in around 15 minutes? There actually is, and it's called Blinkist. Now Blinkist takes top nonfiction books, condenses them into 15 minute audio or text format that you can get through quickly. You can either read, or listen, it's up to you. You will get all the core ideas and the essential information out of any book and basically level up your knowledge, your intelligence, and your confidence. And of course, you've got thousands of titles and 27 categories at your disposal. There is a world of knowledge. Now, recently I was interested in history, so I listened to the audio format of the People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn as I was driving to the store and I was able to digest all this historical information. Later that night, I read the text format of the book to reinforce my knowledge. It's a great way to learn. Now, here's the deal. The first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Saki Tech are going to get unlimited access to the app for a whole week. And if you decide to keep your membership, you are gonna get 25% off, which is an incredible deal. Links are gonna be down below. Go grab the app. All right, so for number two, you wanna go to your settings, all right? And then this time you wanna go over to biometrics and security. You wanna click this. And over here we have more biometric settings. You wanna click that and you wanna make sure that the biometric security patch is up to date. So you click this guy, it's gonna say check in for updates and it's gonna tell you the latest version is installed. This is both for the fingerprint and the face recognition. If it's up to date, you get the best security from both the biometric options. The next update you wanna perform or at least check is again gonna be under biometrics and security. You click on this one and you wanna make sure the Google Play system update is enabled. Now, as of today, the latest update should be August the 1st. When you click on it, you get this screen, you can tap on check for update. It will check for the update and if there's any updates, it's going to apply it. But if not, you get this success message, your device is up to date. Fantastic. Let's move on and talk about the final tactic. Now you want to make sure your phone's policies are up to date at all times. So let's tap on settings. You can perform these updates at least once a week or at least check on them to make sure you're up to date. Uh, so this one again, you're going to go to biometrics and security. You want to go all the way down. You want to go to other security settings. And at the bottom, you want to make sure security policy updates is in fact turned on okay now with this one once you have it turned on you're good to go you don't have to check this one but the previous three you just have to check them at least once a week to make sure uh, they are in fact up to date just in case this is going to happen automatically all right any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right